Today, we'll learn how to deploy cloud run applications with GitLab's Auto DevOps and learn how these two can help you develop faster, more securely, and leverage serverless technology with ease. I'm Bernardo Caden, a Partner Solutions Architect at GitLab, and I help team members and partners alike learn more about the tight integration between GitLab and Google Cloud. Let's have a quick primer on GitLab Auto DevOps. With Auto DevOps, it simplifies and accelerates your workload delivery by automatically configuring the pipeline that deploys your desired environment. What it does is it detects the code language, builds and tests code, scans for vulnerabilities, and deploys the application. Before we begin, let's make sure we have these things ready. First is a Google Cloud project with these enabled APIs, Cloud Run and Cloud Build. Next would be the Google Cloud Service account with these permissions, the Cloud Run Admin, Cloud Build Service Agent, Service Account User, and Project Viewer. Make sure that these credentials have a key and it's saved on a JSON file that is encoded with Base64. And finally, your GitLab project with the application code. To complete today's demo, we will do five steps. The first is to configure the Google Cloud credentials. The second is to add the auto DevOps. The third is to configure the environment variables. The fourth is to code the CI CD pipeline. And the last step is to finalize the DAST. The first step in our demo is to configure the Google Cloud credentials. I'm showing you the Google Cloud console and specifically showing you the Surface account that I'll be using for this demo. I had created this before um, and it's called Cloud Run Demo Surface Account. Pretty self-explanatory there. One thing I do want to note is that the service account should have these permissions, the Cloud Run um, admin, the Cloud Build Service Agent, service account user, and then project viewer. Now, once that is set, um, you will export the key onto a JSON file, and then from there encode it uh, using Base64, using whatever tool that you're most comfortable with. All right, so we are now at the second step of this demo, and that is to add the Auto DevOps to your project. So at your project page, add the Auto DevOps um, template to the pi CI CD pipeline, and you do that by going to the um, GitLab CI YAML file. Since this is a new project I had created from scratch, I will create a new file at the root and call it GitLab CI YAML and then add these lines of code. What it does is it will add the Auto DevOps template um, to your GitLab project. So this will auto con automatically configure the pipeline based on your um, project settings and configuration. And that's it. I will now commit the change and wait for this um, to take effect. After you add the Auto DevOps line of code into your project, you know that you've done it correctly if you see this new pipeline um, after you merge your code uh, and ch code changes onto your project. So see here, um, it's ready running, so I know I'm on the right track. So after we verify that we have added Auto DevOps into the project, let's now add the um, environment variables, which is the third step. To get there, I'm going to go to settings, go to CI CD. Once I'm there, there will be a series of uh, sections here. And if I scroll down, I should see the variable section. Since this is a new project I had created from scratch, there are no variables yet. So let's add them. The first variable I will add is the Google credentials, which is the base64 encoded um, version of the JSON file of the service uh, account key. So that's going to call it base64 Google Cloud credentials. You could name your variable any name, but I just added this for clarity. And I will add and paste the contents. So since this is a very sensitive um, piece of information, I need to. I would recommend that you mask it. We don't need to protect the variable and then we add it. The next uh, variable that we'll be adding is the project ID. Now, how do you get that project ID? I will switch back to the Google Cloud Console um, and then go to the main uh, project uh, screen 
And from there, I will copy that information and go back to the settings and add it. For this demo, I've uh, called this variable project ID. And then I will put that information in there. You don't need to protect it. And then click add, add variable. And the last variable that we will be adding is the service ID. Okay. Now service ID for this demo is the service name or ID that will be used on Cloud Run. So this would be anything, but since this is a Node.js application, I'm gonna call it Node.js, just to be clear. We don't need to protect it. And then we add it. So now all three variables for the environment um, have been added. And now we're set to go to the next step in this demo. Now on to the next step, which is to configure the CI CD pipeline. To do that, we go to the GitLab CI file that we had created on the, uh, a few steps ago. And then we navigate there from the project page and you'll see the contents we had added earlier. The quickest way to modify this is to click the edit button. And now I'm here. I'll be adding a few lines of code and explain what I've added um, that will be relevant for our demo. So starting at line five to six, uh, what we're doing here is adding the Google Cloud SDK image that will enable us to run the G Cloud commands. Um, starting at line eight all the way to 18, the, these are the, the commands that will be using, that will be executed to run um, our pipeline and deploy to Cloud Run. So we created this new stage called the deploy stage or modified the uh, deploy stage that was set from Auto DevOps. And then lines 12 to 14, uh, what we're ha what's happening here is we're taking the credentials you had entered uh, as a environment variable and then using that to feed into the authentication uh, onto the uh, Google Cloud account. Uh, starting at line 15, we will s select and target the project ID um, because you may have many projects in your Google Cloud account. Um, we are also um, using Docker at line 16. Now, interesting part, at line 17, we're, we'll be using Google Cloud Build to generate the container image that will be deployed for this demo. Um, this is very... Um, relevant because Cloud Run um, could take many container images, but uh, it recommends um, you use Cloud Build uh, because if you're using a private uh, GitLab project, you won't be able to use it uh, for uh, Google Cloud Run. Now, the final line here is we'll, we're using the um, service ID that we had defined in the environment variable because that will be the service name that will be um, appearing in Cloud Run and a few more and a few uh, project configurations in region, the platform management and then authentication, um, unauthenticated uh, allowing, right? So yeah, so that's this. Those are the lines of code. And once I'm added, uh, I've added those, I will commit the change. After those changes have been committed to the GitLab CI YAML file, uh, a new pipeline will be created. And when you go to the uh, pipeline view, you'll see that there's a new stage uh, that was added and that uh, will let you know that you have done this properly. I fast forwarded a few minutes to show you what happened in that pipeline that we just completed. Um, and this is the pipeline that Auto DevOps uh, created for you. So there's the build stage, there's the test stage, there's a deploy stage, and you see that the DAST stage is not yet fully complete, which we'll finalize in the final step of this demo. But I wanted to point out that Auto DevOps set these stages for you, and you didn't have to do anything, right? And the tests and the scanning um, jobs that Auto DevOps um, implemented here would ensure a great deal of security improvements and uh, ensure that you have a high quality of the application when you deploy it to Cloud Run. And we see that in the deploy stage, it was completed. So we know that this application is uh, deployed to Cloud Run and we can verify here. So in the Cloud Run 
um, section of console, of the Google Cloud console, you'll see the Node.js service um, is in here and this is the one that we had just defined in the um, environment variables. Now the final step of the demo is to complete the DAST stage of the CICD pipeline. Although this application is already deployed um, via Cloud Run, we still need to complete the final security stages to ensure high quality and to ensure that the application is not um, going to be compromised when subject to some um, attacks. So to do that, we take note of this URL here, right, of the, where the project was deployed to. We go to the GitLab CI and add a few lines of code. Now, what did we do here? So I added the URL for the um, Cloud Run application and added a few um, uh, configuration um, settings, which is to enable the full scan and browser scan. These scans will really ensure that the application is secure and really um, harden the security settings for this Cloud Run deployment. And once that is done, I'm going to commit the change. And the new final pipeline will be um, generated again. Now, just jumping a few minutes after that last pipeline was completed, we see that the DAS stage is complete and that passed. So it means that the Cloud Run application that we deployed um, passed the DAS testing and was found that it did not have any vulnerabilities to attacks and uh, tests that the DAS um, implemented. To summarize, we completed today's demo with five steps. The first is to configure the Google Cloud credentials. Second is adding the auto DevOps line of code. Third is configuring the environment variables. Fourth is the coding of the CI CD pipeline. And we finalized it by adding the DAST functionality at the end. With GitLab Auto DevOps and Cloud Run, it's all about speed and simplicity because you're not worried about configuring pipeline, setting up your security, or provisioning resources for your containerized applications. Once you've set it up, all you need to do is commit your code in GitLab and then see it live on Google Cloud.